hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial now you are watching a part 2 of the box layout orientation video so we learned about the box layout concept in the previous video also we talk about the example we are going to create in this video now we will continue to the demo here I am opening a Eclipse Oxygen. As you see, we are we need to create a three panel. That's what we explained in the slide. So here if you see first we create the left panel and we named it as a left panel vertical so there we will add three button button one button two and button three so first we create j panel j panel is from java x dot swing package and we name that as a left panel y so y in the sense it's grows in the y direction after creating the J panel, if you see uh, left panel dot set layout, we are creating a box layout. So for the box layout, we pass our uh, panel and we state that this box layout uh, works on this J panel. So box layout is from Java X dot swing package. And orientation, we specify it as Y axis. Why? Because if you remember uh, in the picture we are laying out the component in vertical direction that means button 1 button 2 button 3 will be in vertical direction so for your cross reference let me maximize it So if you see, this is our panel one, left panel, and buttons are placed in vertical direction. That's why we create J panel. Then we create box layout with Y axis orientation. Then we are importing the buttons from Java X dot swing package. We need to add three button. That's why we created a three J button. So after this, if you see we are adding the buttons to this j panel j panel is using the box layout and box layout now knows whatever control gets added that will be placed vertically so that's why when you add button one button two and button three button one button two button three to j panel those get added in the vertical direction all right so these three buttons are ready and layout also ready so we have one panel that uses a box layout and um, we have three button ready for now if you see now we create a right panel in y direction so this is the right panel this is left panel and this one is right panel and if you see the buttons are once again placed in uh, vertical direction so we create a j panel after that we set a box layout to it so here we are directly creating and passing it or if you need you can create a panel separately i mean the layout separately and pass that layout here all right since here we passed it directly we are creating a we are constructing the box layout and giving it to the right panel and we are setting the layout so the box layout here is in y axis to add the control vertically next we create a three button control and we add that to the layout so button four button five and button six at this stage if you see this part is ready this part also ready now we need to create the third part and if you see here these two are text area two text area and in the middle we have one separator So 
So next we create a mid panel and this mid panel, I mean the J panel is managed by a box layout. But this time the orientation is uh, X axis. Here you see the orientation is Y axis. When we place control, it placed uh, on top of each other. That means button one after that button two is placed after that button three. But here, if you see when we play, create a two text area and add that to this uh, mid panel, the first text area is here in the left, then a separator added towards its right, then third text area which is added towards the right of the J separator. So if you see here, we create a J text area from Java X dot swing package. So the text area is already explained in the video series and you can have a look at it. So the text area, then we create a J scroll pan. This is to scroll this text area. Then we are assigning the J text area to this one. So now J text area is scrollable. After that, we create one separator, importing it from Java X swing package. Then we create our next J text area. So here separator is vertical. So we created a separator. After that, we created our next J text area. So here 10 comma 10 denotes number of rows and number of column. That means the height here is decided by this number of row. Width is decided by uh, how many character length. So we can hold 10 character at a time. So after that, what happens? After that, since we specified the scroll pan, the scroll bar will appear on these two text areas. Next to the mid panel, first we are adding JTA1 scroll, that means J text area with scrolling capability. So that's why it will get added first in the box layout. Remember, the mid panel X is managed by the box layout with a X axis orientation. So since we add JTA scroll one first, that JTA1 goes here. Next comes JSP. So here the order in which we are adding the component that is important. So JSP next we are adding. So you can see that is coming here as a separator. After that we add JTA scroll, JTA2 scroll. That means the second text area with the scrolling capability that comes here. So if you see here, we are adding all these three panels. First, we are adding uh, panel Y. That means button one, button two, button three. This panel get added. After that, we are adding mid panel. Mid panel contains a two text area. Then we are adding the right panel. Now, if I run this, so this is how the example appears. So if you resize, you can see how box layout is uh, managing the uh, controls so these are all the empty space not used why because box layout will resize itself so if you see here this is the size of box layout the j panel also get resized based on this box layout if you put a border then it will come to know how the box layout is arranging the controls all right Now, and if you see, it implies a scroll bar because when we created a J text area, we asked it to create a, with a scrolling capability. All right, J text area with the scrolling capability and other stuffs are explained in the previous video series. Let us don't go deep inside it. But what we have to learn here is how box layout is working. You are seeing three box here: box one, panel one, middle panel, box two, third panel box 3, box 1, y direction, box uh, right box, y direction, this is x direction, controls are added horizontally. So just now you watched the demo. That's all here in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye.